So here we've got a question involving uh, angles in parallel lines. So we can see from the arrows that it's telling us that this is about uh, parallel line uh, theories. Um, we can also see when we break the picture down that we're dealing with an isosceles triangle. These two lines um, through the lengths telling us that these two lines are the same length. So we've got to have in mind isosceles triangles have the property that base angles in an isosceles triangle are equal. And we've also got to have in mind the theories to do with parallel lines. So if we see an angle trapped in a Z picture, then we say that alternate angles are equal. If we see angles trapped in an F, trapped by the parallel lines, then we say corresponding angles are equal. And if we see a C picture where the parallel lines trap two angles inside, then we say that co-interior angles add up to 180 degrees. So these two angles A and B add up to 180 degrees. Sometimes uh, you'll see in books that these are called allied angles, so co-interior or allied angles. So those are the uh, theories that we can see before we even read the question. We can start thinking about what do we know about these shapes. Uh, we know about the isosceles triangles. We know about uh, parallel lines and angles uh, which are made these making these letters. Uh, we also know that angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees, and we also know that angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. So we're going to have those, those thoughts in our minds uh, to sort of answer the question. So the first question says find the value of x. It's a starred question, so it's telling me to find the value, but also say why I found it. So if I look carefully here, I've got 38 degrees trapped here, and that forms part of the parallel line, so the angle's been trapped there. If I follow this round, then I can see that I can trap the angle X with the letter Z. So I've got 38 at that position, and it's trapping 38 degrees there as well. Both trapped between parallel lines in a Z picture. So both trapped within a Z picture, 38 degrees and 38 degrees. So the answer here is going to be 38 degrees, but I have to say the reason. And we have to say that angle X is an alternate angle to 38 degrees, so equal. I mean, 38 degrees, we really should say that it's angle A, B, E, using the symbol for angle with a little house of it. <coughs> so the thorough answer then would be angle X is an alternate angle to 38 degrees, so equal, and angle A, B, E is where the 38 degrees is. The question then says uh, find the value of Y. Well, we can see from the picture that Y is on a straight line, so if I knew what this angle was, then I'm home and dry, because these two angles would have to add up to 180 degrees. But I can see that this angle is the base angle of an isosceles triangle. The two dashes are telling me that we're going to the end of these lines. So therefore, these angles here and this angle here must be the same. So here, I can say that angle EFB is equal to angle EBF base angles in an isosceles triangle are equal. And I also know that because these two are equal, angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So I also need to write down that angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So I'm going to be doing 180, take away the 38 degrees, which is uh, inside the triangle. So that's going to be 142 degrees. I'm then going to be doing 142 degrees halved, um, because the base angles are equal, so 71 degrees. So I now go back to the picture and fill in the information, so that I can see what I'm doing step by step. And now I can see that those two 
uh, next to each other on a straight line they meet at the point so I can simply say that y is going to be 109 degrees and I give a reason for that and I say angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees and I show the sum 180 minus 71 degrees equals 109 degrees so for a start question then we need all those bits of information so we're going to be careful that we write everything down to explain why we've done everything with the worded reasons and again it helps when you go around the picture adding on the numbers that we knew so for example we knew this was 38 we know that angles in a triangle are up to 180 base angles in an isosceles triangle are equal angles on a straight line are up to step by step by step explaining all the way